still waking up, so half of my eyes are probably still closed. I actually took a day off, and my plan for today is actually showing you guys all the materials that I have to prep for technical interviews. Getting up is the hardest part. Get up. The first thing that I do in the morning is turning on the lights. Ooh, okay, there you go. My living room is kind of messy. Still have the A1 sauce and a bunch of stuff like wine or whatever. Let's get started with a bunch of things that I wanted to cover in this vlog. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the study routine. When you are studying for algorithms, you always wanted to come up with a doable study routine. So now if you're in college or you are currently unemployed, you got kind of a lot of time to really plan out your routine and what i recommend is study from four hours to six hours every day and ideally you wanted to study at least six hours on algorithm if you are full-time as a developer or you're currently having a full-time job obviously studying for interviews are going to be way harder what the routines that i would envision for people who has a full-time job it is you'll get off work hopefully at 5 30 and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a quick shower come back and spend two hours to three hours working on algorithms and then take a dinner break around seven o'clock or eight o'clock have dinner and then do another round let's check out my table setups and things and materials that i use to study and i'm gonna show you guys. first of all coffee is important i love a good cup of beverage and i think that water is also crucial as well so i would say that this is number two important thing for me on my desk phone is tricky sometimes it can be a distraction it can be something that's helpful lately i've been using this app called forest and i think you do have to purchase this app it's basically a pomodano technique app and it helps me to keep track of focus times and it also planting trees as you were focused more during the day what i usually do is i'll set the timer to 45 minutes when you're setting the intervals what i would recommend is 45 minutes that seems to be the most efficient intervals for me to study for me to focus so 30 minutes is a little bit too short in my opinions and then an hour sometimes i just get super distracted at that point so you want to do it for two hours and then take 30 minutes to an hour break and then come back and do the same thing over for the entire night before you go to bed next thing that is on my desk is a scrunchie whatever so my friend and she actually came over here and did my gel nails they're super pretty this makes me so happy whenever i'm looking at my nails i'm like oh they're so cute and pretty anyways let's get back to what's on my table the next thing is my laptop most of the time close my laptops when i study especially going through algorithms and data structure concepts and the next thing it's probably one of my favorite books so this is the book that i was talking Talking about in the previous videos this is algorithm in a nutshell and I really like this book because it's just mostly illustrations and it explains the computer science concept really really well as you can see I was working through the algorithms and it really walks you through like a algorithms in graphs and I absolutely love that um, I am going to link to all the information that I mentioned here down in the description down below so you guys can check this out there's another book also I don't have it with me it's called literally algorithm and it's like a more dry way and more 
I guess, detailed way of explaining algorithms and data structures and all that computer science stuff. And I would highly recommend that book if you have a lot of time to rock through those concepts and really learn it. The next book that I want to talk about is obviously Cracking the Coding Interview. Now, this is like the holy bible of interviews. I use this book to go through the problems. So you'll see it's 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8 right so what i would do is after i refresh my computer science concepts i'll go into these questions and work through these problems finish the first section of studying. I was having a really hard time of focusing today. I don't know why, maybe because we only have like maybe two days left this year and I'm super excited for the new years. Um, it's good to just walk away from that chair that you've been sitting on and go somewhere else. And in this tiny apartment in New York City, I don't really have that much space. It's literally shipped from one corner to another corner. There's so many options for meditations. Let's go, Dustin. Lead me to it. Aloha. It's Dustin. See more clearly. If that feels right for you, or soften your gaze. Connect the feeling of being inside of your body at this moment. Finish meditations. I feel way more calm and less stressful, especially thinking that nothing really matters. It's just a perspective at a time. This is what I'm eating. This is the omelette that I just make, avocado, bok choy. So this new diet that me and my boyfriend were trying out is keto. Center over here. New York City is definitely way more quieter than how it used to be. I'm gonna show you guys the Christmas tree. TJ Maxx that I go to all the time. This is my jam, you guys. It's very empty right now. I think they're restocking some new stuff. And I couldn't find any champagne glasses here either. I found these very cool ice balls. I could use one of these. Wow, 
it's not even New Year's, but we've got some Valentine's Day stuff here. So I just got out from TJ Maxx. I definitely did not find the glasses that I was looking for, especially the champagne glasses. I feel like the store is pretty much empty in my opinion. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I feel like it's like a very last minute to look for champagne glasses. I feel like Christmas and New Year's time, New York City looks extremely pretty with all the lights and the street and everything. Uh, let me wash my hands. I just took a shower and my diffuser is already running. And look how nice this is. Ugh, I'm so calm right now. Hey Google, turn off lights. Just wanted to see that. Good night, everybody. I'm gonna do some editing in the dark and I will talk to you guys at another vlog. Peace.